Hello everyone, my name is Raymond Munoz, and I'll be your host today for the NFL Weekly, Week 11. Okay, so we'll be talking about the games coming up on either Thursday, Sunday, or Monday. So the first game is going to be on Thursday. I think, yeah, today. So it's going to be today. It's going to be the Crandles versus the Seahawks. So the Crandles, they have... Wait, how much do the Crandles have? They have... Let's see. I can't find them. <laughs> so they they have what you call it all. Uh, let's see. Six wins, three losses. And the Seahawks, let's see. What could I find them at? Six wins, three losses as well. This is going to be a pretty good game today. I wonder who's going to win. I think I'm going with the Crandles. On this one, then maybe the Steelers versus the Jaguars. Let's see. The Steelers are undefeated. Jaguars only won one game. <laughs> Let's see. The Steelers. The Steelers won this one. I know. I mean, anything can happen to at the same time. So, let's see. Next would be the Lions versus the Panthers. So, the Lions. Let's see. The Lions, they have four wins, three losses. Five losses, I mean, four wins, five losses. I think. And then the Panthers only have three wins, seven losses. <laughs> that, I mean, let's see. So it's, so it's going to be the logo Cats, the logo Lion versus logo Panthers. I'm going to put the Lions on this one. So then the Patriots versus the Texans. Okay, so the Patriots. Let's see. Wait up. Yeah, the Patriots, right. The Patriots, they have four wins, five losses. And the Texans, I think, yeah, the Texans. The Texans, they have two wins, seven losses. Whoa. So, wait up. So, how much do the Patriots have again? They have four wins, five losses. Texans. Uh, I think the Patriots with Cam Newton. I think it's Cam Newton. Yeah. And then after that, Oh, I forgot. On Sunday is gonna be the fir- the first game of Sunday is gonna be the Steelers, and yeah, there's only been one game today. Okay, so let's move on. So next is gonna be the Titans after the Patriots versus the Texans. It's gonna be the Titans versus the Ravens. So the Titans, let's see, the Titans, they have. Okay, it's interesting to find them. The Titans, the Titans, they have six wins, three losses. And they're going against the Ravens. They have six wins, three losses as well. I'll go for the Ravens on this one. Yes, and the Ravens. Then it's going to be the Eagles versus the Browns. Okay, so the Eagles, they have, you can't see it, three wins, five, three wins, five losses, one tie. And then who are they going against? The Browns. Let's see. The Browns. So the Browns, they have six wins, three losses. The Eagles haven't been doing so good, like, so hot. So I'm going for the Browns on this one. Then the Falcons versus the Saints. Let's see. The Falcons. or The the Falcons have three wins, six losses. And the Saints. Let's see. Where are they at? The Saints have seven wins, two losses. I'm going with the Saints on this one as well. They have Drew Brees, awesome quarterback, awesome backup quarterback. They have a lot of good players on the team, so I'll go for the Saints. Not to add them, the Beagles. Beagles. I said I'm going to call them the Beagles now. Okay, versus Washington. The Beagles, they have... Let's see, I'm trying to find them. The Beagles. Beagles, whatever. <laughs> the Beagles have two wins, six losses. And Washington, they have two wins, seven losses. I think the Beagles will win this one. And then after that's gonna be the Jets versus the Chargers. So the Jets, the Jets, they have I can't find them. Wait, oh, there they are. No, that's not the yeah, the Jets. There they are. They have not any games won. They have nine losses. And the Chargers. I was just looking at them. Where they are? They have two and seven losses. Uh, the Chargers probably win this one, even though they lost against Miami, but. Speaking of Miami, um, the next is going to be the Dolphins versus the Broncos. 
Okay, so let's see Miami. Dolphins. The Dolphins, yeah. Miami, but still, like, I don't know why I call them in Miami. They're the Dolphins. Yeah, they're the, from Miami, but. Then, let me the, then the Dolphins have six wins, three losses. And let's see who they're going against. The Broncos. They have three wins, six losses. Uh, I'll go for the Dolphins on this one. Yeah. And then after this, it's, after that, it's going to be the Cowboys versus the Vikings. So, let's see. The Cowboys have two wins, seven losses. The Vikings have five, four wins, I mean, and five losses. So, I mean, ugh, to be honest, I go for the Cowboys on this one because their new backup quarterback ever since Zach Prescott got hurt. Been doing bomb. And ben DiNucci wasn't doing as good. Dalton got hurt, too. And then Dak Prescott was obviously hurt because he has a backup. So I'll go for the Cowboys on this one. And hopefully I'm right. And then it's going to be the Packers versus the Colts. So the Packers. The Packers. Let's see where are they. I just saw them not that long ago right here. The Packers. Um, trying to find them. Hold up. Oh, man. Um, the Packers. The Packers. I can't. Oh, here they are. Seven wins, two losses. Um, and then the Colts. Are they next to the Colts? Colts, Colts, Colts. However, it doesn't sound like I'm saying Colts. I'm saying Colts. And then they have six wins, two losses. I think this is actually be a pretty good game. Um, but I'm probably go for the Packers. I think on this one, just because of. Are probably better players. I haven't really seen the Colts play that much, but the Packers. So then it's gonna be the Chiefs versus the Raiders. The Chiefs. They. I know they lost one. I think right. Um, Chiefs. Oh, they're right here. The Chiefs. They have eight wins, one loss. Oh, they have lost one. And then oh, it was the Saints. I remember. So eight wins, one loss. And the Raiders. They have six wins, three losses. I'm going for the Chiefs because they have Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go for the, I'll go for them. Then that will be the last game of Sunday. Then Monday, the next day is gonna be the Rams versus the Buccaneers. So the Rams, where are they? At? The Rams they have six wins, three losses. The Buccaneers have seven wins and three losses. I honestly go for the Buccaneers on this one because they have Tom Brady, one of the best quarterbacks. Also with Drew Brees, but. The Buccaneers. Um, let's see. So I think that was all. Yeah, there was one game on Thursday, one game on Monday. Um, I can't really see who's on bye week this week. I don't think anybody is. Other than missing. Let me check real quick. I hope I can find it. Let's see. Oh, the Forty ers They're in their bye week to, to this week, so they're not gonna play. Oh, uh, so let's see. The Bears, I think the Bears, I said them right. No, the Bears are in bye week too. Let's see. Okay, so it's from, the ones I just said were from the NFC East. I don't know, it's from the NFC. And, let's see. Oh, I think the Bills, they're on their bye week too. That's from the AFC now. And also the... Mm, can let's see. Yeah, that's all. Just one from the AFC and two from the NFC. So that's all. Make sure to get us some follows and like we're our goal right now is two hundred followers. So make sure to go follow us at the Swarm. So thank you everybody for listening to the today's podcast NFL Weekly, and hope you have a good. Uh, good afternoon <laughs> and go watch some the football games and come back next week i think no next week we're on break so i think there will be no podcast next week so we'll do it in two weeks i think so thank you for listening and have a good afternoon watch some football and yeah thank you bye